Mrs Sinclair is the next speaker. Thank you, um, Madam Chairman. Um, welcome, Mr. Bota. I'm sorry I wasn't here um, initially um, when you were talking about people trafficking, uh, which is uh, obviously a very serious concern to the member states of Europe. Um, one question on that is how far do you think actually the Schengen Agreement has been a problem in this area? Because obviously you would be aware that the Schengen Agreement has allowed people to travel thousands of miles across Europe unchecked. So therefore it's allowed the criminals, a charter for criminals, to innate, innate this unsavory business. Um, and wouldn't it be better for nation states to reinstate their borders, to actually have border controls across, across Europe? Um, Re-political um, life. I mean, I, I'm sitting here as a parliamentarian who was elected without any positive discrimination at all. We had a Prime Minister in the United Kingdom more than 30 years ago and who was elected to Parliament more than 50 years ago without any need of positive discrimination. And in fact, probably most of her critics in the 80s were actually women. And in 1997 in the UK, we had a Labour government elected with an increased amount of women that was done on a positive discrimination quota system. And by the 2001 election, you had a, mass, a good deal of those drop out if they didn't seek re-election or they, they, they lost because they just simply, at the time, were not the best candidates for the job. I would just remind you that 1997 election in the UK, it was a Labour landslide and they, were, they won more seats than they thought they would do. And they, and they put candidates up that probably weren't of, of the correct calibre. And that's the point I'm making here. Surely we need the best candidates for the job, whether they be male or female, because any type of, of discrimination is deplorable. Surely the word discrimination it cannot be right in any circumstances. So your charter is a charter for discrimination, and I, and I would actually say, say that is wrong. And also I would point out, you said, for example, there are no chairman or directors of football clubs. Well, the area that I come from, um, the West Midlands, Birmingham, we had Karen Brady, who was the managing director of Premiership Birmingham City. So, you know, women can get there by positive discrimination. And I do agree with the previous speaker. It's, it's about family life and being able to, to, to equate that. So, yes, what the member states need to do is make provision for childcare, make sure their parliament systems have adequate working hours and childcare provision. That's the way of promoting women in politics, not positive discrimination where they're, they're, they're advantaged more than probably more able men and vice versa. Thank you.